Before serious frosts, the armed forces of Ukraine will try to expel the enemy troops from the territory of the right bank of the Dnieper River, including Kherson, as much as possible. And if they fail to expel all of them, they will create the most unbearable and impossible conditions for them. Because the logistics of supply of this grouping there is terrible, it is actually absent. A few days ago a scandal broke out in the Russian news, more than a million winter clothing sets were stolen from their depots. So when there are frosts, it is not hard for me to imagine how this Russian group will freeze to death. You can remember the beginning of the full-scale invasion, when there were abnormal frosts near Kharkov, 20 degrees Celsius below zero. When the regular army just started the offensive, they already had problems providing, sorting out their units, and they were freezing there in the woods near Kharkov when it snowed. Then their bodies were found under the snow, which had been lying all that time. That is why we will see the same here, only in a larger scale, because they do not have regular army anymore, but shabby remnants and new recruits with no supplies. Now their supply situation is even worse than it was in the beginning, it's just a disaster. We can see that in addition to the Lehman direction and the movement to Svartovo, a successful counteroffensive is developing in the south. The AFU plans to complete its goals before winter, to liberate the entire territory along the right bank of the Dnieper River. Plus, this also depends on the decision of the Russian general staff, because they can decide at any moment to withdraw the entire grouping from there, as they did from Snake Island, when they simply fled from there. That is, to decide on another goodwill gesture, so to speak. We understand that militarily they should have taken their grouping off the right bank a long time ago. The fact that they are there is only a political decision. The commanders on the ground asked Putin for the possibility of withdrawing from Kherson, which would allow the Russian army to cross the Dnieper in an organized manner, saving military equipment and soldiers' lives. Putin rejected the request because he could not afford another humiliating public admission of failure in this war and a second major defeat on the battlefield in one month. In the coming weeks, Ukrainian soldiers will take out the enemy and get into the best positions to prepare for the decisive battle in the spring. It will be very interesting, Crimea is waiting. To help the channel grow, watch one or more of the videos offered to you at the end. Thank you.